Hi, it's the Miss Nikki and I kind of wanted to um, get this on camera, document this moment. Um, my dysautonomia is, and my autoimmune and cardiogenic syncope, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, all of it's flaring. I'm not going to even pull out my blood pressure machine. Just tired of, you know, already know, you feel it, you know. Um, it's in when it's this bad it gets to the point where it affects my um, in my nervous system and my mental and emotional state I'm like I'm near tears but you, you could look from the outside in and you'd be like well uh, you know here I am in a dark room um, good family life um, you know I mean I feel crazy because it's all my pulse, my um, pressure, um, I feel very shaky and, and nervous and um, fatigued to the point where I want to cry even though I, you know, own the pain. I've been taking Tramadol, the pain is so severe that um, I couldn't sleep. So maybe I didn't get that much sleep. So the fatigue would probably be because I took so long for me to accept that the pain was that intense. And I finally went ahead and took the tramadol. Um, trying not to take a uh, clonopin, or they call it cl clonazepam as well. Trying just kind of meditate and Yesterday I was bedridden um, um, after I picked Sarah up until this morning. So it was from about 3.30 until this morning when I dropped him off. I'm sitting in the chair. My heart is not happy with this upright position, so I'm about to get in the bed. Um, it's just... it's. It, hard to put into words because the brain fog is so bad that I can't think straight and it's frustrating when you know you have so much to do um you know but the more you fight it the worse it gets so if I go ahead and lie down and I mean literally I'll probably I may not even be able to pick up my my son from school you know lie down in, indefinitely. I don't know how long the bad part of the flare will last or how much my body will need to be in that position. Um, and so that's that's frustrating to not know how long once you get in that bed. I'm staring at how long you'll be there. And, um, you know, no one wants you driving and near fainting and and I'm lucky to be one of the few who have been cleared to drive um, because I know when I'm going to faint I get signs so um, even though on my tilt table I fainted I think five minutes into it but still I get these signs and I yeah able to um <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying just cry because I feel like the whole world is moving about and I'm not I don't generate cash I don't I just I know I know I'm rambling this is this is what a bad moment um, on the outside looks like on the inside you can feel how my body's feeling and the pain um, and I think I'm shaking to the point where the laptop's shaking now see I get tremors and restless leg syndrome, and if I don't see this, is what happens? People are like, well, you just keep going. Yeah, you keep going, and your body's not happy. You see, it's just shaking. There are things that I would love to do. You know, I don't. I have a new niece, and I remember my from my sister-in-law's first pregnancy. I was able to to be there and. For my, she and my nephew, and this time I'm not able to do those things. Just, and I feel like maybe people, and it's just shaking, don't realize how real it is.
And at the moments when I do get out are extra special and it, it mean a lot to me, the people I give my time to. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna go lie down and I just can't stop shaking. Like, and it's my lower half that's tremoring, not my top. For some reason, mine generally is at the bottom to where the laptop is unstable in my lap. So, and so you can barely see, and it's getting worse the longer I. Uh -huh. Mom's gone, and my dad's at work. So I'm. Here. I lie down, trying to meditate even while talking to you. It kind of helps control the tremors, but it's taken a lot two years of practice. Hmm. So I'm gonna just stop, but just wanted get it on film. I don't know why. Hmm.